Okay, this is my uh, hydrogen fuel cell. You can see there it's bubbling away. And you can see here it's bubbling away. Anyhow, I'm in a bathroom, so I can turn off the lights. It'll be completely dark, and you can see the flames. Now we've got our lights shut off. There's a flame. Come on, focus, you stupid thing. Focus. Now it's focused. I have to do a little two handed approach here. And we can't see this very well. Those little pops or the hydrogen bubbles you see in the water exploding when they pop and reach the flame. Let me turn the lights back on here, because that wasn't really helpful, actually. You see here, it's just, it's just bubbling away, you know. All this is running off is laptop power supply going into two wires and going to four metal plates here, which alternate positive, negative, positive, negative. And that's it. There is nothing more, nothing less to it. And of course, those plates and stuff are sealed in this glass jar with a hose going into the water. And it bubbles and pops. Another thing this will do is if you pull this hose out and light the end of it, it can backfire and blow the whole thing up. Which, since I have handy dandy little hot glue plug that can blow out, I can blow it up. without blowing up the glass pot. See, right? there we are. Watch this. Come on. Hmm. Maybe it needs the right pull up pressure. We'll kink the hose. Ooh, that makes it come out faster. Well, that apparently didn't work. So let's go back to this. See? Look at that. It's just bubbling away. You could take this hose and you could route, route it into the air intake of your car. And you could put this in your car and run this 12 volts off your car's battery. And you could increase gas mileage by probably a lot. Because it would use less gas, more hydrogen. So your vehicle. These little pops would build up and you know, it would be bang. Uh, oops, I think I just melted the hose a little bit. I guess it's just working too well. Look at that. And I made this in, in a day, you know, it didn't, it's not a lot of work. It's a very, very simple thing. It just totally makes me believe in, you know, oil conspiracies and stuff like that. And look at that. And if, if you could see the backfire, it would totally show the power of hydrogen that hydrogen has because it's a very powerful gas and, and it burns a lot cleaner I mean look you know there's no smoke coming off of that when you burn hydrogen all that comes out is water vapor okay 
get a little rhythm going here. Uh oh, she's dying down. Got some hydrogen soap bubbles on my finger here. Check this out. Ha! Yeah, it's cool. Cool. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Yeah, see the hydrogen soap bubble on my finger? Watch this. Right on my finger. Completely safe. Almost. It's probably actually very dangerous, but. round little darkish flame. Oh man. Oh yeah. Now it's bubbling up in the water here because we've got a little soap in the water. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, I don't want to bore you to death. So hydrogen fuel cell makes gas that explodes, come little bubbles that explode on your finger. <laughs> Anyhow, that's that. Yeah, okay. See here we have the weed whacker. We've got the uh, fuel line disconnected and we've got the hose from my hydrogen fuel cell, which is plugged in, running into the weed whacker. And it will run on it a little bit. It'll kind of run on it. If we made a bigger one, it would work a lot better. It could probably power this thing easy.